Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, hi, I'm Michael Hart, and uh, I'm a member of the Austin Intel Networking Division, and we have built uh, a, a payload which goes into what they call near space. You attach this to the bottom of a weather balloon, you send it up, and it travels upwards at, up, up to about 100,000 feet, and the reason we've worked on this project is because it is just sheer fun. We are human beings with a curiosity about what it's like to be able to do such things, and we did it just because it's fun. So what, what, what's in this little box here are uh, an Edison microcontroller, which is controlling the system of devices, which includes, uh, first of all, a GPS USB receiver device. This GPS device tells the balloon uh, exactly where its location and altitude are at any given moment. And then we take that data and every three to five minutes relay it back to Earth from the balloon from, with this uh, Iridium satellite modem. This, this little modem is a transmitter that sends data to the Iridium satellite system, which is relayed back onto the ground, so that we, in what we call mission control, can sit there and see how our balloon is progressing. Still going up, still going up, drifting to the west, drifting to the east, and we can actually detect the moment that it bursts. And when it, once it bursts, we start hopping in our car and we uh, continue to monitor the, the flight of the balloon as it, as, it's, uh, as it falls to Earth. And eventually, we, we get a message from the balloon saying, I have landed at such and such a location and I am ready to be retrieved. And Here's a brand new part of the, of the project that's fun. We all pile in our cars, we start driving. Sometimes we have to drive across private property and, and into uh, places that we wouldn't normally go, but we have to go there to retrieve our video, which has been taken by this little GoPro camera, which you see poking its nose outside the, the payload box. You can see this payload box got a pretty severe jolt when it landed at about 10 meters a second. But this little GoPro camera was filming the entire three-hour flight in full high-def video. So we've got some spectacular video taken from 100,000 feet showing the curvature of the Earth and the blackness of near space and the thin blue line of dense atmosphere below. And then as the balloon burst at 100,000 feet, the payload was jostled just enough where the camera was pointing upward just long enough to capture uh, a picture of the shards of the balloon uh, exploding into space. So we, we were tremendously excited, as you can imagine. First, when we found the payload sitting out in a field that we weren't really supposed to be on, and then to take the camera out and, and get this video data off of it was such a thrill. I think all of us are looking forward to many, many more launches in the future.